So far, our red dot is just bouncing side to side. We can change its direction down here by choosing a different direction, and that can make the game more interesting. But what we want to do is add some unpredictable behavior to this dot. This is even more important when we have more than one. So we're gonna bring in a block here called pick random. And we're gonna pick a random direction to move in. And we're gonna use all of the possible degree directions of a circle, which some of you will know as being 360. And the block we need here is point in direction. So we're gonna join these two together now. We can do this in Scratch. We can add blocks into blocks to make new whole sentences, if you like, of code. So we're saying point in the direction of, and then we're asking Scratch to pick a random number between one and 360. And this is important. This pops just in between the green flag and the forever loop. We want every time we click the green flag, click, click. Can you see how it's changing direction here? That means every time we start the game, will bounce off in a brand new spot. If we were to put that inside the loop, we get rather strange behavior, a bit like a, a sick bee or something like this. Can you see how it kind of wobbles? Because every loop of, that, uh, of this loop, it's uh, picking a brand new direction to move off in, as well as trying to move 10 steps. So that's not what we're looking for. Remember to separate code from the one below the one that you want pop that up there, pop that back in the loop, and we've got our dots moving around in a random direction every time we start the game. 